The sculpture was formed over fifteen years, searing sun dust, clogging nostrils, bitter Spain winters, snow cold fingers. An artist's hand of paper sketches turned into stone. From an apartment packed, layered, living year by year, he travelled to the hills, and the house emerged, laboured into existence, beams bracing strong, walls thickly blocked, staircase triumphantly leading to second floor bedrooms, now holding memories of a family and a barbecue shed for a king. And spinning prior in time, another artist who spun galaxies wove atom by atom in earth creation, knowing us before we do, this designer god had readied his miracle for the house builder. Before doctors, family, friends, god knew, before the house creation was the god who holds all things together, then the builder was gripped in cancer's claws, a brain-strangling mass, oppression impending, operation preparing, percentage chances murmured, in desperation's hope, a whisper of insistence from a loving wife, trying in faith to build trust to ask God for something. And man, not yet a builder, travelled a journey of faith, the cave of lords bound, and the Jesus who touched blind to sight, lame to walking, disease to hold, the carpenter of reconstructing life, the relationship builder, as son of God, son of man, turned the miracle. Not to the surprise of the doctors who asked, where have you been, before revealing the change. Cancer gone, no operation needed. Thirty-five years older, the house now with inbuilt statue, celebrating life, a daughter's marriage, a family's journey, friends and family from Spain, New Zealand and many other nations gathered to enjoy this life. And the reminder of all these memories, love and pain, struggles and tears, hopes and fears, is embedded in the stone. A sculpture of Mary, above the door to remind us all of the glory of God.